Brilliance Audio presents the unabridged recording of Glory by Vladimir Nabokov, performed by Luke Daniels. To Vera. Forward. The present work closes the series of definitive English versions, in which my entire set of nine Russian novels, written in Western Europe between 1925 and 1937, and published by Emigre Houses between 1926 and 1952, is available to American and British readers. He who cares to scan the list given below should mark the dramatic gap between 1938 and 1959. Mashenka, 1926. Mary, 1970. Carole Dama Valiette, 1928. King Queen Knave, 1968. Zashita Lujina, 1930. The Defense, 1964. Saglia Datai, 1930. The Eye, 1965. Podvig, 1932. Glory, 1971. Camera Obscura, 1933. Laughter in the Dark, 1938. Acheanya, 1936. Despair, 1966. Prigalashinya Nakazin, 1938. Invitation to a Beheading, 1959. Dar, 1952. The Gift, 1963. The present translation is meticulously true to the text. My son took three years on and off to make a first draft, after which I spent three months preparing a fair copy. The very Russian preoccupations with physical movement and gesture, walking and sitting, smiling and glancing from under the brows, seems especially strong in Podvig, and this made our task still tougher. Podvig was begun in May 1930, immediately after my writing Siglia Datai, and completed by the end of that year. My wife and I, who were then still childless, rented a parlor and bedroom on Lutpoldstrasse, Berlin West, in the vast and gloomy apartment of the one-legged General von Bardeleben, an old gentleman solely occupied in working out his family tree. His large brow had a somewhat Nabokovian cast, and indeed he was related to the well-known chess player Bartleben, whose manner of death resembled that of Mylushin. One day in early summer, Ilya Fondominsky, chief editor of the Sovraminia Zapinsky, arrived there from Paris to buy the book Na Carnu, in the rooted state, set of grain fields before they are harvested. He was a social revolutionist, a Jew, a fervent... Sample complete. Ready to continue?